Hello, everyone. Um, it's me, Alex. Um, after the message I sent about uh, that I got Slime VR and then I made it work with Standable and there is nothing hard about it, a lot of people have been going to my DM saying like, how? How did you do that? That's impossible. Dude, explain it to me. I'm tired, so I'm making a single video of just a full guide on how to make it possible. So yeah, as you can see, okay, let me let me give you a proof. So uh, I've got Slime VR, six trackers, and I got Standable, eight trackers. And now I just let me just do this here. To prove it more. I go here, and as you can see, my legs work, you know, everything works perfectly. And Calibrate FBT, as you can see, I have the standable truckers with the slime truckers. So it all works. Um, but a lot of people have been asking how is that possible, and I really don't understand what's the issue exactly. Like, it was super easy to do, but... If you have a problem, then I am here to explain to you how I did it. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so first of all, you need to turn on standable proxy trackers. Where is it? Advanced settings. Go on advanced settings. Alright, for some reason, when I was recording my uh, tutorial, um, a lot of settings have been missing in Standable and I don't understand why. So basically, let me just tell you, you open Standable, you go Advanced Settings, you go a little bit down, use proxy trackers, preserve trackers, smart offsets, turn those three go down basics moving to and because i'm using virtual desktop i click uh, auto detect vd issues but that's up to you and that's it that's basically all you need to turn on so slime vr's settings and now, here you go, okay, first of all, prediction on 50%, I recommend you, it's a really important thing, because when I, I was actually using smoothing with standable firstly, but then it kind of made it worse, so use prediction with 50%, because standable actually smooths it by itself, but uh, it really doesn't matter all the settings, just make sure that prediction on 50%, it's the most important part, I think, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, the others, you, you can copy and paste if you want, but it's really unnecessary. Okay, so you go and do the mounting. Look. You go and do the mounting calibration, automatic mounting, I have my truck is on, full reset, stand straight. Reset mounting, you do the expose for 3 seconds. That's it, you log into the game, you click calibrate FBT, you do it like this, and then when it clicks, you... Okay, so I'll just show it to you like that. When it goes to T-posing, you need to immediately um, click with both of your hands and immediately pull them down like this. Look. You do a full reset in Slime VR. Full reset. Stand normally. Like, stand straight. And it should... Reset, and then you go like this, clicks, and then you click on both of the triggers and put your hands on your thighs like this. And as you can see, my legs moved from being like this to like this, if, if you noticed. Again, let me, let me show you it again. 
look they are like this but as soon as I calibrate oop they go down like this let me just recalibrate once again because I failed it but yeah as you can see my legs are going like really extremely close to each other which is good but yeah there isn't actually any kind of issues with using Stanable and Slime VR together it's extremely easy um, so yeah, again, prediction in Slime VR 50%, uh, standable smoothing on 4, and when you do a calibration, please do a full reset and stand like this. Stand like this until it resets, and calibrate, and then go like this, and that's it. That's all you need to do. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>